What is going on, beautiful people? My name is Bet Slam with Sam, and we are doing our Slam of the Week for UFC Vegas 93. I'm taking to get Elon Bekov. He's fighting Joshua Van. I'm going to talk to you about Joshua Van and let you know why you need to smash your money down on Tagir Olimbekov. And if you are new here, Slam of the Week is where I pick one fighter with absolute certainty that I think is going to win you money this week. This week, it's Tagir Olimbekov. But let's first break down Joshua Van. Listen, guys, Joshua Van is a fantastic prospect. He's been added to the UFC flyweight division, and he's been on a tier. He has fought three times in the UFC and won all three bouts, twice by decision and once by ground and pound. Unfortunately, it's due to his opponents that I don't think he's going to be able to get it done here. A beautiful, shiny 10-1 record, but he fought Zalgar Zumagulov, who is 1-6 in the UFC promotion, Kevin Borjas, who obviously is winless inside of the UFC, and Felipe Boons was making his UFC debut. So listen, guys, Joshua Van just does not have that UFC-level experience. He is a new-age fighter, but he's a young kid. I mean, the dude's only 22 years old. There's no way that he has the experience and the capability to deal with a Dagestani wrestler like Tagir Ilan Bekov. And if you need more convincing, let's talk about Tagir right now. Listen, he burst on the scene in the UFC. He took on Bruno Silva, a tough task, Bruno the Bulldog, defeats him by unanimous decision, then took on Alan Nascimento, beat him by decision, then he mo moved up a little bit in competition, took on Tim Elliott, lost by decision. And honestly, before you turn around and go, wow, he got beaten by Tim Elliott, Tim Elliott is a fantastic fighter, and he is upset. A whole lot of hype trains up there. But he bounced back. He defeats Nate Manis in the first round like an absolute shark. He hunted him with that standing guillotine choke, moved on to Cody Durden, Choked him out in round two, where he had thrown up about 10 to 15 submission attempts. He doesn't stop working. He doesn't gas out. Tagir Ulanbekov is the real freaking deal. He trains out of that Dagestani gym. You know, he he trains with the boys. He's been he's grown up with the likes of Islam Makachev, with Khabib Nurmagomedov. He looks up to those guys like gods, and so he should. You know, he only wishes to be a slice of the greatness that those gentlemen have. You know, he can strike but it is serviceable to his submission game. And I will say that because in this matchup, Joshua Van is going to be the better striker. And to get Ulanbekov needs to get him down to win this fight. I don't think he can win a straight up striking exchange, but I don't think Joshua Van can keep him off him. He doesn't have enough dynamite in those hands to put down to get Ulanbekov, who has been shown to be durable. So give me to get Ulanbekov. My official prediction is to get Ulanbekov submission round one or two. Take that to the bank. He's going to be my slam of the week. And if you're not betting on to get Ulan Bekov, you're not trying to make money.